once a child has demonstrated an ability to consistently do a uh, ICU style drill well and if you remember those were the information carrying unit drills from the earlier videos and they've also shown that they've got quite good auditory discrimination developing we can start doing some um, uh, conditional matching style receptor drills with our child uh, this is something that is really going to encourage the child to tune in and have to really listen to what we're saying and it's going to uh, really develop um, like a, a strong concentration from the child that's going to be useful in everything they do in life. So I will start doing this with Shelda by taking similar materials to something that I know she's mastered in a two ICU situation. So if you remember, one of our two ICU scenarios from earlier were shapes and colors. So I have uh, a red circle, a red square, a blue circle, and a blue square. And I'm going to take, in this case, the red square, place it in front of her, and then I'm going to take the blue circle and place it in front of her. Now, I have the red square in front of her, the blue circle in front of her, and in my hand, and for an uh, entire token strip of this drill, I'm going to be using just this red circle, and it's going to look something like this. Show up, put with red. Good work. Show up, put with circle. Very good. So, what you can see I'm doing there is I'm going to Obviously, this object matches both of these different objects in a different way, but Shoulder has to wait and see what I say before she can make that match in her own head. Now, you can make this as complicated as you want if your child flies through this quickly. You can have it as a, you know, you can use your category terms, so you can have them matching, matching different colored animals or different colored transport or you know, different sizes, I could say put, put with big versus put with square, so like um, I could have a small object and a big object, or I could have uh, two different category terms, but when you first start doing this with your child, make sure you're doing it with a set of materials that they've already done quite, uh, they've already been able to do quite well in a 2ICU situation.